I saw Father Salat here walking around. I crossed him off the list. Where's he at? Father Salat, thank you very much, sir. If I had gotten married in California, he would have uh, been the, the priest that did our wedding. We did it in Oklahoma, by the grace of God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which is where my beautiful bride is from, so that's where we did it at. But thank you nonetheless, Father Salat. Uh, President Murphy, thank you. The Bosés, the Brazenias, the Straters, you're all here tonight. Uh, the Sisters of the Company of Mary, got Sister Charlotte, Sister Lupe, Sister Cecilia, Dr. Minkle. They knew me back uh, when I was two and a half years old, and, and uh, we're certainly part of that foundation that, that helped me give a, give a leg up, so thank you very much. To all the modern-day alumni, the teachers, the coaches, the clergy, uh, uh, all the other Ring of Honor uh, recipients, uh, thank you as well for being here in the support. And also, for everybody back here sitting here in the tuxedos, and for putting this on tonight, for helping out, thank you as well, okay? Where's Cat Kelly? I know I'm a big fan, and you know what? Where are you at? <laughs> thank you, thank you too for putting up with my, you know, <laughs> for my unpredictability. Thank you. Um, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize my family as well over here. Uh, my Aunt Kathleen, Uncle Bud, uh, my cousin Shelly, I love you. Uh, my godmother, Lauren, is here. Uh, my, my, my mom, my mom's very good friend, Selma, is here as well. And uh, but I'd like to say something about my brother who brought his lovely wife here tonight and my niece and nephew, Aiden and Delaney. Uh, he graduated from Servite. I still, <laughs> but I still love him. <laughs> but he's the one who taught me what it truly means to always take your brother's side, no matter what. I pass it on to my son, Stratton. Daniel is my soul. He is my sense. His sense of ethics and morals are as strong as steel, and he never wavers. Thank you for being here tonight, brother. My, uh, tonight, my bride, Christy, of 11 years, she is back at home with my three kids, like uh, we talked about already, and she's literally standing watch over the house in Virginia. We had a tornado warning at 3.30 this time, so as I was getting ready, we're actually watching it. I got a picture of a hook echo over there on my phone, so she's literally watching the kids and she's listening as we're recording this tonight, but she is my life partner and best friend. The qualities I'm gonna to speak to in a little bit are her. And I love you, babe, you're my guy's North Star. Uh, Mom and Dad, you guys raised me. I would not be standing up here tonight if it weren't for you. You both made sure I always had a built-in home field advantage. You, whether it be as a coach or equipment manager, a team mom or a confidant, or just a friend to speak with and the third base coach, coach's box while we're waiting for the new pitcher to come in. You guys were there for me um, even when I didn't know you were there. Uh, which backfired me one time when I had that party at the house and then you guys showed up. <laughs> we, we won't go into that tonight. Uh, my mom is a modern from class of 61, so my, modern day has been literally in my blood uh, since the day that I was born. So thank you to everybody. Uh, I'm deeply grateful and humbled by this. Um, my boss is flying back from Orlando, so he was on the golf stream right there. Uh, it's been a very heavy and emotional week, as you guys all know. I know everyone's hearts and minds have been focused on the events in Orlando. Um, and not necessarily trying to figure out what happened, but why. And whether you call this a hate crime, terrorism, or, or a craven act of a mentally ill person, or it could be a combination of all of the above, the events are in direct opposition to the principles and the values that I was raised upon that we were raised upon, that I learned here at Modern Day, that I learned at St. Jean de Lessonard. We're talking tolerance, inclusiveness, acceptance, and love. <laughs> and these are principles that were fostered and nurtured in my upbringing, in my Catholic faith, the Modern Day community, and everybody that I acknowledged earlier. But it also gets me thinking about my babies back in D.C., Sophia, Stratton, and Scarlet. If you've ever seen a newborn baby smile, you know that they are not born with hate. They're not born with prejudice. They're not born with bigotry. Babies are pure love. Children are pure love. Hate, prejudice, and bigotry are learned. They are learned within the home, within the schools, within the community and influences that are around you. If we are to change and influence those principles, we must focus upon the areas where these principles are learned, and that's within our community. But, so that's kind of the somber piece. There's hope and optimism, and I'm the eternal optimist, and I'm always looking ahead. 
even if we're down by 21 points or down by 10 points with four minutes left, I'm always looking ahead, okay? Because there's always a chance. I wish that all children could grow up in a community like modern day. Although I am a little angry and still sad past week, I know and I have strong hope for this country and for the world as a whole. Several reasons I'm optimistic, I won't go into all of them, but one of the primary reasons is the leader of the Catholic Church right now, Pope Francis. We do a lot of polling in DC, as everybody knows. We do polling to poll. <laughs> Among some of these polls, though, the most popular public figure in the world right now, amongst Jews, amongst Hindus, amongst Muslims, Christians, people of no faith, is Pope Francis. I think that says something about our values and what the world values. Because there's no better walking display of what love, inclusiveness, acceptance, and tolerance looks like than watching the example set by Pope Francis. We were just with him two months ago at the end of April doing a cancer summit out there. But uh, prior to that, we got to go to his, uh, they called it the installment of the inauguration. And we were standing there when the Mobile came out before he went up to the altar. You know, the Mobile it's got the bulletproof glass around it, right? His first time, he actually took the glass down because he wanted to be more in touch with the people that were there in St. Peter's. So he drove right by us and they went back did a big box around and got to the back and we're watching him up on, you know, the, the Pope Jumbotron, whatever you call it. And then you see him stop and he motions to the driver and he motions to the Swiss guards. He, he's telling them, I'll stop, I want to get off, I want to go say hi to somebody. And he walks down and he walks over to this man who's holding his son that has cerebral palsy in his arms. And he goes up there and he caresses the face of this boy. You can tell he's blessing him. He whispers something in his ear, pats him on the head, and you know that he would take him home with him right there and treat him as if he was his own son. That's my leader right there. When I saw that right then and there, I was like, I was more proud to be a Catholic on that day than I think I've ever been. So I'm very proud to be a part of this community that teaches that message. We try to live and breathe this message in these hallways, in the classrooms, on the football fields, in the gymnasiums. Even walking through here, seeing all the smiles, talking to everybody here, you can feel it. You can sense it, you can taste it. It's hard to describe to people who haven't been students here. But when you look at the people's eyes that love you, the smiles, knowing that no matter what, they are here to help. It may be tough love, Right, sister? It may be tough love, <laughs> but it's love nonetheless. You have all allowed me to know and to pass on this love and those qualities that I referred to earlier. You give me hope in the future because of your abiding care and concern for me and my family all these years. Because of your efforts to ensure that modern day continues to be an environment that allows everyone to grow and succeed, no matter their culture, religion, sexual orientation, or background, they have a leg up. So I close the saying, continue the work, continue the love, the acceptance, and the tolerance. I'm so proud of my faith. I'm so proud to be a monarch. Thank you again. I love you.